Lesson 63 Manners of Eating and Drinking Food containers should be covered. Hands should be washed before and after meals. It is forbidden for men and women to eat from utensils made of gold or silver. Accept the food given to you and do not criticize it. The food should be shared between more than one person. Start eating with mentioning the name of Allah by saying Bismillah and after finishing thank him by saying Alhamdulillah. If any of the food falls on the ground it should be picked up and eaten after removing any dirt. Never blow in hot food or drink. Avoid overeating. Offer food to the eldest people first. If food is served, begin passing to those sitting on the right hand side. Eat using the right hand and take the food nearest the edges of the container. After eating with one's hands, lick the fingers. Sip slowly while drinking. Wash your hands, clean your teeth and rinse your mouth after eating. Evidence of Quran and Sunnah Covering the containers of food The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Cover up the utensils and tie up the mouth of water skins. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When you intend going to bed at night, put out the lights, close the doors, Tie the mouths of water skins and cover your food and drinks. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, I used to prepare for Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, three covered containers for the night, one for his purification, one for his siwak, and one for him to drink from. Washing hands. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when anyone amongst you wakes up from sleep, he must not put his hand in the utensil till he has washed it three times, for he does not know where his hand was during the night. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If anyone spends the night with grease on his hand, which he has not washed away, he can blame only himself if some trouble comes to him. Utensils of silver and gold. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Surely he who eats or drinks in gold and silver vessels fills his belly with hell fire. Accepting the food. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, never found fault with food. If he had inclination to eating it, he would eat and if he disliked it, he would leave it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, asked for Udam, anything eaten with bread, and was told that there was nothing except vinegar. He asked for it and began to eat from it, saying, How excellent is vinegar when eaten as Udam? How excellent is vinegar when eaten as Udam? Sharing food the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Eat together and mention the name of Allah over your food. It will be blessed for you. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The food of one person suffices for two, and food of two persons suffices for four persons, and the food of four persons suffices for eight persons. Mentioning the name of Allah at the beginning of having food and praising him after finishing it. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When one of you eats, he should mention Allah's name. If he forgets to mention Allah's name at the beginning, he should say in the name of Allah at the beginning and at the end of it. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When one of you eats food, he should say, O oh Allah, bless us in it, and give us food or nourishment better than it. 
as for milk the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said when one is given milk to drink he should say O oh Allah bless us in it and give us more of it after having food when the Prophet peace be upon him finished his food he would say praise be to Allah who has given us food and drink and made us Muslims he would also say the following after having food Praise be to Allah who has fed me with this food and provided me with it through no might and power on my part. He would also say, All praise is due to Allah, praise which is abundant, pure and full of blessings, which is indispensable and to which one cannot be indifferent. He would also say, Praise be to Allah who has given food and drink and made it easy to swallow and provided an exit for it. If food falls down, the Prophet peace be upon him said, if any morsel dropped on the earth, one should pick it up, cleanse it of dust and eat it and not to leave it to the devil. Breathing in the container, Abu Qatada, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade breathing into the vessel while drinking. Avoiding overeating. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, No man fills a utensil worse than his stomach. A few morsels that keep his back upright are sufficient for a man. If eating is necessary, he should fill one third with food, one third with drink, and leave one third for easy breathing. The sequence of passing food. Sahal ibn Sa'ad, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated A drink was brought to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he drank of it. On his right was a lad, and on his left were some old people. He said to the lad, Would you mind if I gave the rest of this drink first to those on my left? The lad said, O Messenger of Allah, by Allah, I will not concede my share of drinking after you to anyone else. So he, the Prophet, handed over the drink to him. Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, Milk mixed with water was brought to Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. On his right side was sitting a Bedouin, and on his left was sitting Abu Bakr. May Allah be pleased with him. He, peace be upon him, drank from it and handed the rest to the Bedouin, saying, One who is on the right has preference, then again the one who is on the right. Eating with the right hand. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Come near, my son, mention Allah's name, eat with your right hand, and eat from what is next to you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Blessing descends upon food in its middle, so eat from the sides of the vessel and do not eat from its middle. Licking the fingers. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When one of you finishes eating, he should not wipe his fingers until he has licked them himself. Kaab ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, I saw the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, eating with three fingers, that is the thumb, the index finger and the middle finger and licking them after having finished the food the Prophet peace be upon him said you do not know in which portion of your food the blessing lies sipping slowly while drinking the Prophet peace be upon him said do not drink in one gulp like a camel but in two or three gulps mention the name of Allah that is say Bismillah when you start drinking and praise him that is say alhamdulillah after you have finished drinking washing the hands and rinsing the mouth Ibn Abbas may Allah be pleased with him narrated Allah's messenger drank milk and then rinsed his mouth saying it has fat having eaten from a lamb's shoulder 
The Prophet, peace be upon him, rinsed his mouth and washed his hand. Suwaid ibn An-Nu'man, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, We went out with Allah's Messenger to Khaybar, and when we were at Asahba, Allah's Messenger asked the people to bring their food, but there was nothing with the people except sawik, food made from wheat and barley flour. So we all chewed and ate of it. Then the Prophet asked for some water and he rinsed his mouth and we too rinsed our mouths.